What's happening guys, Mike from Hammer Fitness. Today's topic is on a massive, massive issue that's going on at the moment. And it's been brought to my attention quite a while ago, but I thought I'd dig a little deeper and actually listen to an audio book called The Case Against Sugar with Gary Torbs. Now, if you haven't read or listened to this book, I'd highly advise you to do it because I love telling this to everyone. They did a study with rats, cocaine, and sugar. And I bet you can guess what the rats went for. The no, I'm just kidding. They went for the sugar. <laughs> they went for the sugar, guys. It's because it's sweet and it actually gives you the same hit to the brain. All right, so they actually did some scans and everything, what the brain looked like, the activity, and I oh know they're giving cocaine to rats. What the hell? Anyway, so the brain activity literally showed the exact same patterns in terms of dopamine receptors and just a happy feeling and the rats actually liked the sugar better because it tasted better versus cocaine being bitter. I don't know how they actually got the rats to have each, I guess, the sugar they can eat it, but anyway. Now look, back to the case against sugar. Sugar is literally found everywhere. Just to give you a quick example, okay. I actually went Boom. to the well, shop so to do a video, actually it's actually called the effects against I, uh, the different carbohydrates, and, uh, I'll give you a link to go in. check that out as well, but when I went to the shops, I didn't even realise until I actually got there that when I entered the store, you're literally surrounded by carbohydrates, like they're just everywhere right in front of you, there's no high protein, high fat, it's all carbohydrates, high sugar. Sugar, right. sugar, sugar, just sugar everywhere. So, and pretty much the middle aisles are just completely loaded with sugar. Okay. It was just absolutely so crazy instance, to realize. Funnily enough, again. I only realized when I was, uh, uh, when I was doing this video. For, so they found it just thousands and thousands of years ago. But until the 1500s, they actually started manufacturing it in massive, massive quantities. All right, so how's this for stats though? They literally produced 245 tons in the 1500s and now we're going to forward that to 1995. The production of sugar was 275 million tons. I can't even give you an example of where that sugar would fit. I mean I'd have to look it up but that would take too long. Where is that going? I mean if you think about it they're actually using it for almost Everything, all right, so a sweetener, a hardener, a preservative, decorations, they even chuck it in, uh, they did this ages ago, they started putting it in cigarettes, literally everything. They are putting sugar in absolutely everything because it's the most versatile element, all right, so uh, it dissolves with just about everything, it tastes good, uh, it is versatile, it cooks with anything, but it is the least micronutrient dense food. It actually has no value whatsoever except for calories. Four calories per gram of sugar. That is it. All it does is it spikes your insulin, drops you in the ass again, and that is it. So, other than the taste, and other than the beautiful high you get, and maybe other than the beautiful decorations it can actually make, Sugar is actually kind of useless, unless you've got uh, insulin resistance, which I don't guess that would have come around if the problem with sugar didn't arise uh, through diabetes and etc. My tips actually getting rid of sugar is actually to be aware, because you'd be surprised on where you can actually find it. All right, so you've got sucrose, maltose, lactose in milk, it is everywhere guys, check it out. I'll chuck a link in the description for a list of how to actually get all the uh, food where it's hidden, how to find it. But just be aware, look on the back of packages and stuff. Where you find the ingredients, look for where sugar actually is. All right, so this is just a general rule of thumb when you're actually looking at the ingredients. Where any ingredient is placed on the ingredients list, that is almost the ratio or the percentage of the product. So if we're looking at the ingredients and sugar is at number one, majority of the product is actually made from sugar. If it's the last thing, it's gonna be the least thing, okay? So there's that tip, just be aware. Tip number two is try to actually cut it out at least half of your day. So if you're having six meals, be aware and actually try to not have it at all for let's say three meals. That's it. So it could just be 
steak and veg, that's it. You're not even having any tea with any sweeteners, no nothing, no sugar, no nada. And now you're probably thinking, well Mike, why don't you just cut it out altogether? Now this is the thing, if you think about telling a smoker to give up smoke straight away, he's gonna hit you over the head. Because it is very hard. Like I said before with the rats, it has the same effect. Imagine trying to take a cocaine addict and just take his cocaine away. He wants that hit, all right? So if it's one thing to be aware, it's one thing to be aware that it needs to be taken out slowly. So it could start off with three meals, then four meals, then five, then maybe just have it once a day. And then if you really wanted to, just remove it from your diet altogether. Now you'd be surprised because as soon as you start doing that, you'll realize where it's actually put. For example, fruit juice, fruit, it's got sucrose. Sucrose is the type of sugar, it's already sweet. Yet they get this cane sugar and they add it in to make it even sweeter, to put water into it so it still tastes as sweet as the fruit is, but the fruit gives it the fruit flavor and that, uh, therefore they can actually make more money calling it fruit juice. Yet they've just screwed you. All right, they're actually making more margin on their fruit juice. It's not even real fruit and they're causing everyone to have diabetes. Well done. Tip number three, guys, is actually using sweeteners. Now, the most natural sweeteners, I think, is one, stevia, and two, excitatol, okay? There's a lot more, but some other ones actually cause like a laxative effect and at the same time, sweeteners can still be bad for you. Now, if you've had your whole life of growing up and having actual sugar, uh, your brain's gonna register that sweet taste as sugar itself. So it's actually gonna look for the sugar calories and if it's not there, you're gonna be more hungry for that sweet hit uh, and the general or the actual genuine taste of sugar. So your body's gonna keep looking for those carbs coming from genuine sugar. So limit the sweeteners, but it is a really good way to taper off sugar. You will be surprised on how good you feel when you come off. You may experience headaches, you may experience nausea, you may experience real tiredness, but you will be absolutely epically mind blown how focused and how much energy you will have not having sugar, okay? I'll leave this video there, guys, before it goes on for too long. Sugar is made from evil. But seriously, guys, I hope this video helps. Uh, so the three tips to get rid of sugar, bit of information on where sugar is found and what it can do to you, and especially that stats on bloody cocaine. Yeah, whatever. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Love you guys to bits. I'll see you guys in the next video.